and welcome to my first ever video and I decided just to do a very quick one here and this is just an example of, of putting together the baller program but in desktop mode and uh, it's actually pretty pretty simple and unlike um, a lot of other people I'm not going to get into what you need to set up and how to set it up or do huge tutorials I'm just going to show you how this thing actually operates so very simple what we do is we just double click the pin uh, pin up popper baller installer and then we wait a while for it to get going and it does take a while and there we go uh, first you have to accept the agreement uh, CV pinball uh, is the file folder just leave it the way it is and uh, I already have a copy of this but I'm overwriting it so I will say uh, yes and install meanwhile and of course now I was thinking about it um, it's a very easy program to actually put in especially if you're going to put it in desktop mode there's so little that you actually have to do um, it works really well there is one small problem and that's the reason why I am doing this video um, this is a beta version and they forgot to do something in, in the installation and I will show you what happens and then I'll tell you how to fix it uh, in the meanwhile we're just in here looking at all of the stuff um, Baller has support not just for future pinball but also for VPX and all the 200 million plugins that VPX seems to have especially with the DMD and you can actually set it in desktop you can set it up as a two screen mode uh, that's just uh, the play field and the back glass you can set it up as uh, in free screen mode which uh, adds a DMD so it for the most part works very 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 well one if you're just installing the program and don't mind the fact that there is actually no uninstaller so you'll never be really be able to get rid of it um it, it's, it's actually a pretty decent program in that regard it, in that regard it's, it's pretty painless to do at least and as as i go through all of this you'll just you know you'll see how simple it actually it really actually is yes there's a lot of stuff in here it does load in two games one is leprechaun king which seems to be in just about everything nowadays and the other one of course is um retro flare which was done by terry red for future pinball oh now it's asking me for set up for direct x uh this is a brand new computer i decide uh, i already loaded in every single version of direct x automatically uh, I mean, I got my new computer, so I don't even need to uh, to bother. I'll just say cancel. Now, uh, now it's saying that it would like to run config. So just hit finish, and you get the title screen right here. Next, you can read that. Not really all that important. Just go to the next page. First thing you need to do is to tell it what mode you want. We're going to do desktop to start, and then down here, this tiny little block box, you have to tell it. What your resolution of your monitors are and they should all be either 1080p right i have two monitors but i'm only actually actually using one but so is a 1080p monitor so there you go apply layout next up it tells you how to set up the displays and stuff um, that is a very very complicated thing um, you're dealing with windows and you're dealing with future pinball which is an incredibly incredibly old program um, there will probably be a tutorial down the road to show you how to do it uh, but we'll just ignore it right now next page now first off you got four boxes here and you go uh, through each one test display lay layout all monitors settings seem correct uh, when I first installed it Windows buggered up my monitor settings and my positioning so I had to fix that uh, this is one of the really handy things with this installer you don't have uh, that problem if there's something wrong it will actually tell you and that's just great um, it's the only front end I know of that actually does that and that gets a huge thumbs up for me uh, we're fine so let's install apps and as you can see it's telling me what it's doing everything is fine 
the B2S backblast servers registered and that's great because the stock VPX install never seems to get that right. Now it's just loading in future pinball. It will open up the editor and then it will close and now it is done. Uh, it's, so all of the installing apps are finished so we can do the next one. Step three and uh, th this is, is cool. This allows you to look at all of the individual settings, play field, music, you know, most of the stuff. Um, we, we've only got one screen, so we really don't need to do this. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is that the quick position is not actually set. You actually have to set everything, right? So, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but we'll find out if I get an error. Anyway, our single screen mode, just exit set up. And then, step four, apply display settings to all apps. There you go. Step four is all done, enjoy. Now, next step is at the bottom. Uh, we can now um, set all, uh, where we want the DMDs, the back blast, uh, the test DMD. You can move stuff around. You can, you can position everything exactly the way you want it. And then when you're done, you just go stop test. Let's just remove all of that. Again, single screen. We don't, we're going to be looking at the games in desktop mode. So it really doesn't make any difference. We just go next page and we're at the end here. Okay. Now, the installer puts this folder in here called pinup. And as you can see, you have Future Pinball, you have the Pack Editor, uh, the Configuration, uh, the Front End, and VPX. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to be talking about one thing, and that is Future Pinball. Now, we can run it through the Front End, but we're going to get an error. So what we'll do is we'll go directly into Future Pinball itself. Just click on that. Remove that because it, it is obviously a focus issue going on there. And what we need to do is to show you, first off, video, the video and the rendering options and make sure that they are correct. A future pinball, for instance, will cr crash if you do not have that checked. High quality pinball models, you need that to be checked. You also need enable non-power of two textures to be checked. And you should have high quality textures checked as well. Everything else is is fine. Uh, I actually have a very powerful computer, so I can max this puppy out, and it's not a problem. You can, for instance, change that to two times. Um, I don't really recommend going beyond that. I've noticed everything gets real, real fuzzy if you go beyond two times. But, you know, other than that, that's fine. The second thing you need to check is the editor options under Preferences. And you need to make sure that load image into table editor is unchecked. Uh, what happens is if you have a, a graphics card that doesn't have a lot of memory, uh, FP will overload the, mem uh, the amount of memory needed for graphics and your tables will crash. So just make sure that this is unchecked and it will save you a lot of grief. Okay, let's load in the table. How about we just create a brand new table? Just press new. There's the, the basic FP template. And then we are going to play the table. And as you notice, nothing is actually happening. And the reason why is because FP has crashed. And that is because, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this right now. If you look here, that's what's supposed to be happening. It's supposed to be on this, uh, it's supposed to be, but it's not ha actually happening. And the reason for this is because FP has actually crashed as soon as you pressed new table. Up oh, there's, up oh, there it is. Sometimes the thing that tells you 
uh, FP has crashed uh, will show up on my second screen instead of the main screen which is what it show, it's supposed to do but it does say F future pinball is not responding so you have to close the program and let's not report the problem to Microsoft I don't care if Microsoft knows or not so how do you fix that well actually it's pretty easy it is obvious that what has happened is that Bola is not actually installing the registry files uh, in desktop mode with FP. So what you need to do is you just need to go into the folder, which is vPinball, go into the installer, and you look for this file right here, Future Pin Desktop. This is the file that is obviously uh, being missed from the installer. And so you need to add this in uh, yourself. So just double click on the file you get the little prompt warning you that what you're doing is very dangerous and you know it's actually not so just answer yes and unfortunately it was too bad there we go the keys and value so in other words it's loaded in all of the keys and the values into your registry that future pinball actually needs to work all right just press ok let's go back to our pinup folder Let's go back to future pinball. Let's load in a new table again. And let's press play and see what happens. And there you go. And the table should come up. And there it is. And uh, just hit escape to go out. Let's just close it down. So. I will inform the author and point him to this video uh, of Baller and just let him know that that's what the problem is. But in the meanwhile, if you get this problem, this is that is actually exactly how you fix it. So that ends the uh, that ends the tutorial for the time being. Um, happy pinball.